Hi everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I'm going to unbag Salvation Army jewelry bag number three. I purchased three jewelry bags from Salvation Army about two or three weeks ago, and I bought all three because they're so hard to find there. I just took the opportunity and bought all three. They cost $40 a piece, and this one's pretty good, pretty hefty size. It weighs six pounds, and let me give you a peek at it before we open it. So it looks pretty interesting. Let's dig on in and see what we can find. Okay, let's open this guy up. Dump it out. Come on, goodies. Give me some good stuff. Yeah. All right, let's just mix it all up and get the jewelry brewed. All right, first thing I'm picking out is, well, let's go here and let's see, we have a, maybe a rosary with something stuck to it. Looks like a, a double butterfly pendant. Let's get closer up. There you go. Let's see what else we have. Next we have, this is actually kind of cute. These are wooden and glass beads. It's a necklace with the toggle closure. Um, these have prices, I guess. These are items they couldn't sell at the store. And this is what that necklace looks like. It's kind of cute. Okay. This is a pretty necklace. Peach colored. They are plastic beads with gold spacers. I see a tag. The tag says... Let's see. Come on now. Joyce. Joyce Pose. P O H S. Not familiar with that. And that is, it looks like paint or something on that bead. Aw, somebody made this. Looks like a poinsettia pin. Cute. Here's a watch. Kind of pretty actually. It has a rubberized band and the back. It doesn't have a name or anything, but it's cute. Here is a very pretty necklace, statement necklace. Let me get that in the shot better here. There we go. That's pretty. I don't see any crystals missing. I see a tag on there. Um, the tag says Claire's. It's actually a very cute statement necklace. I like that. Let's see what we have. This is a clip earring. Oh my, I'm gonna have to get the scissors out and undo some of this stuff. Let me get those scissors. I had to cut some things loose from those price tags they had stuck on here. And I found this pair of earrings here. Really cute. And we've already seen at the beginning of the video, this belongs with these guys. So they're pretty cute. Here's a necklace that looks like it was handmade, but it's actually pretty cute. They did a good job. It's a wooden pendant with glass beads, and look at how cute they put little fish beads in there, little glass fish beads. Let's see if I can turn it. That's kind of cute. And these are wooden beads, these little barrel beads. That's a cute necklace. 
There's a pearl clip earring and no name on that. Put that aside. This is cute. This is a pin that someone made. They have wooden uh, angel wings painted metallic purple and this is metal and they've attached seed beads. It's actually kind of cute. They signed their initials on the back. Here is more tangles a little bit. Not too bad. All right, this is a, a geometric circle pierced earring. Kind of cute. Let's see if we can find matches for these. Another earring, glass earring. Cute. Put the earring over here. This looks like a vintage earring. Maybe it's missing something in the center, or maybe it's supposed to be that way. Let me get this close up here. But it is a screw back. And let's see if I can find a name on that. Uh, not offhand. Come back here, earring. I'm going to put the magnet to it and see what happens. Oh, it is not magnetized or drawn to the magnet. And I'm going to have to take a closer look here and see if I can see any, any markings on that. Indeed, that does say sterling right on the ed end of that screw back. So that's awesome. We'll put this aside and it'll be great if we find the mate. Oh my. We have tangles. Oh dear. Let's see what I can do about this. Okay, I did a little bit of untangling. Didn't get 100% there with this one, but this is a black statement necklace. Um, it's very cute. And I don't see a jewelry mark or a maker's mark on there. It's just a very cute necklace. And it is stuck and entwined with this guy here, which is a cute heart pendant necklace with some rhinestones on there and not seeing a maker's mark or any kind of jewelry tag on this either. Here's another similar statement necklace. Boy, these price tags that they keep attached really make it a challenge <laughs> to go through these. Let me see if I can Get that done quickly, yeah. All right, this is a similar necklace to the black one we just saw in pink. Um, no maker's mark. That's cute, not bad. Here's a necklace that is tangled. Let's see here. Okay, we have the theme, maybe a child's necklace, a theme of the beach. Let's get it turned around here. Oh, it's kind of cute. Sand pail, shell, beach ball, flippers, and an umbrella. That's cute. Cute necklace for a little girl. Here's a pin. West Point. A pair of pearl dangle earrings. All right. There's a pearl necklace. A short double strand pearl necklace missing the uh, clasp. Some sort of clasp is missing. Uh, actually, they feel decent in weight. So I'm still going to put it in a craft lot because I just don't have opportunity and time right now to do repairs. Oh, how cute. This is a snowman melt. Snowman melt my... Heart. Cute. That's cute. I'll put that with my Christmas pins. I think we have a match here. Previous earring we found. Get these back in frame here. This is a pretty pin. 
It's enamel uh, pink, green, silver tone with a pink crystal in the center. Let me take the magnet to this, see what happens. Oh, it sticks. Any maker's mark? No maker's mark, but I think it's a well done pin. It has a design on the back. I like that pin. Clip earring, bright pink. No maker's mark. This is pretty. This looks like a vintage, let me make this pull out a little bit. This is a vintage black beaded necklace. I love this necklace. Oh, how cute. And it has little tiny pink beads separating all of the black beads. Hopefully you can see that. But I like the different shapes on here. This is really cute. I like it. That's pretty. Here's a clip earring, pearl. The finish on the pearl is peeling off here. Can you see that? Okie dokie. Any maker's mark? No maker's mark. Let me get my scissors out here. And unclip this. Okay. Multi strand. And I think it's in good shape. It just needs to get untwisted. That's kind of cute. I like that, actually. I like the colors together. Blues and the browns. Here's a cute necklace. It's got like a pearl eyes, maybe it's cat eye, and silver, um, long, small long pendants, several of them, on a silver tone chain. And it does have a tag on there. And it says... Express. That's pretty cute. Oh, groovy, groovy. There's a peace pendant hanging on a heavier chain. It's cute. Um, it's just a cute hippie fun necklace. I'll be putting that in the craft line. Oh These are pretty beads, but it's a partial bracelet or necklace here. Uh, definitely, clearly is broken. But they're pretty beads. And the clasp is mixed metal. This, I believe, matches that one of the first earrings I found. But it came apart. So that's a good craft lot pair of earrings. Here we have a plastic necklace. Get my scissors out of the way. All right, plastic necklace. I have shown the mate to this, so we have a match here. There we go. And this is a stretchy that will go in the craft lot. There's a little tassel earring. We may or may not have the match. Let's see. I do see. see a match with, got a match to this wild and crazy fuchsia clip earrings. All right, we have a pair of Earrings from Justice look like little baseballs. They're cute with crystals. It's going to go in the craft lot. They are cute. Another seed bead necklace. It's not broken or anything. And there are purples and grays. It's pretty. Very pretty. I like it. Next is a, looks like a ceramic pendant. And on a suede cord and it's gonna go in the craft lot. Look at this necklace. Ah, it's cute. Look at that school theme. Oops, we got stuck. Wait a minute, let me cut that off. Ah, that's really cute. Crayons, apple for the teacher. A math chalkboard, a math book, and of course a pencil. That is so cute. Good children's necklace or even for a teacher, huh? That's going to go in the craft lot, but it's so cute. Look, the pencil is a number two pencil. Here's one that I think is neat. This, you know what? This is definitely handmade. 
And the thing that's really cool about it is I believe that this person, whoever made it, took it off of another piece and repurposed it as a pendant, added these little dangles, and made a necklace. It's very cute. They did a good job with that. Look. Cute. This is a pretty set of pearls. Gray silver pearls. I like this clasp. Looks I wonder if that's that might be vintage the clasp. It's a very pretty set of pearls. It may be real. And I'll do the test against my teeth after I wash the pearls because I just cannot stand the thought of putting something in my mouth out of a jewelry jar. Ew. You never know, right? What the heck kind of germs might be on there? That clasp is not magnetic. Okay, next we have another set of pearls. And they actually feel nice. Are they knotted? Yes, they're knotted. Let me see if I can get a close-up of these. These are pretty. I'm going to set those aside and let's see. Well, the clasp is not magnetic, and I don't think I see any kind of a maker's mark on that. Uh, but these feel nice. How about on this? Is there a mark on that? By the way, note to self, don't do your nails right before you do a jewelry unjarring, because this is what happens. <laughs> they got nicked. This is a cute little pendant. Circular pendant with a snake chain, I guess, and there is no marking, but it's cute and it's in good shape. It's in really good shape. I don't know what you call these kind of a wrap, wrap beads, uh, but it's a necklace. It has a button closure and just appears a homemade, to be homemade, handmade. Handmade and homemade, I guess, are the same thing, right? Here's the necklace. It says, love. Love. No brand. It's cute. But it's going in the craft. Bye, love. Oh. That is a pin that someone made using a cinnamon stick. Let me see if it smells. <laughs> it's lost its fragrance. And it's going in the craft. Lot. Here's a pair of earrings that are together. They're purple, lightweight, filigree style earrings. Oh, look what I have here. An owl. I love owls. You might have heard me say that before if you've seen any of my videos. That is so cute. I just might have to add him to my collection. It looks like a seed bead necklace. Here's a pin in the package, and it broke while in the package. So it says Winter Wonderland to and from, and that's going to go in the craft lot. Here is an angel pin, and it's somewhat faded. It looked like it was painted, but it's faded. I can't read that. That's what it says right there. It's going to go in the craft lot. This is a, a necklace that has like a ivory, clearish ivory plastic resin, maybe, beads. And all of those are little discs uh, that make up the cord or the chain. It's different. It's vintage, I believe. Has a barrel twist clasp. So put that aside. Here we have a seed bead necklace in white and ivory colors. Not bad. Two strand necklace. There we go. It's cute. I do see a tag. The tag is New York and Company. And that's not bad. Pretty color green. Kind of like an army green or an olive green. This pendant is like a mother of pearl or abalone inlay. This is really pretty. Um, 
and I don't know what these beads are that are that it's made with but they feel cold to the touch and let me get a closer look at that pendant it is beautiful isn't that pretty stretchy going in the craft lot craft lot here's a silver bracelet oh my goodness yay yeah guess what this is it's a pandora pandora ah that is awesome this is a winner two thumbs up now i'm really happy to find this let me see i think it's real Yay. All right. Yay, that is awesome. Definitely put that aside. Well, I think that made the whole bag worthwhile. Here's a cute little bracelet. It's I don't normally like all of these threads, uh, but sometimes they put it together and it looks cute. Let me get my sleeve out way right there. That's kind of cute. It's in good shape too. It doesn't look dirty. And a pair of clip earrings. Let me open these up. And they're just a plastic. They're sort of an iridescent purpley um, inside of a black frame. They're cute. This is cute. It looks like vintage. Maybe it isn't, but these are just like a coral peach colored um, long bead with little tiny golden beads in between. This is cute. That's cute. It's a cute necklace. No name, but cute nonetheless. Okay, a pair of earrings that say Body Central. They're very big, they're like a hematite tone. And earring, fish hook earring closure. Here's a square metal earring. It has like an X imprint on that clip. Put it aside, it might be a match to it. Here is another little stretchy seed bead necklace. Here's a necklace with a pendant, silver pendant on it. And it has a tag and a tag. Ooh. Oh, cool, it's Crown Trafari. Nice, okay. Plus I think um, it has like a little bit of wear on the pendant, but I can sometimes polish those with a silver polish cloth and it comes out very nice. Nice! I'm happy about that. Here it is. So, this is a shell necklace. And it's, it's cute. The shells are cute. Here's a pretty necklace. Now these are made with stones. I can feel their gemstones. And, um, Maybe even a silver. Let's test this lobster, I mean the toggle, and see if it's metallic. No, so it might be sterling. It's pretty. It's a simple little necklace. It's cute. Oops, got an earring stuck in this. This is a pearl necklace. Let's cut this little tag off here. And let's see. Has a tag on it. I was thinking that was Sarah Coventry because in my last video with the last um, jewelry bag I did from Salvation Army, this identical necklace was in there. So I've got a pair of them now. Here is a keychain. I am unfamiliar. It says limited edition and then it says Song of the Deep, which I don't really know what that is. But it's a, it looks like some sort of, what is that? Is it submarine? I'm not sure. Clearance. Clearance for 97 cents. Made in China. 
Insomniac Games. Okay. Those are kind of cute. Oops, come on. Get up there. Those are cute. Aha! Mr. Owl. Not crazy about the cord, but I still might keep him. Maybe even take him off the string and somehow or other repurpose him. He's cute. He comes with me. And I did have a match for these other guy, this other black square earring I showed earlier. Here's another stretchy. Now I'm starting to see pairs because I'm getting to the end of the jewelry. Right there. Kind of cute, actually. Somebody made those, I'm sure. This is cute. This is a necklace. Um, looks like, well, look at that. It's missing a strand. Uh, it was a four strand necklace, so this is definitely going in the craft lot. But the combination, I like the colors together, the like, uh, combination of bead colors. And here is a necklace with interesting shaped beads, but up close you might be able to see that they're peeling away. The finish is gone on those. Here is a stretchy ring with pink beads. I'm gonna go put that in the craft lot. Here's a love necklace with, you need a close up of that one, with a little flower charm with it. It's still got a little tag on there. Nothing fancy. My dog's decided to walk around now. Next we have a box. This box is, uh, looks like a pair of earrings and a heart pendant with some stones. It says genuine rose quartz stone and happiness and strong self-worth. And this came from Pier 1. So I'm not sure. It says contains genuine rose quartz stone necklace and pair of earrings. So I don't know if it's um, sterling or not. I'm thinking probably not. I'm not going to I'm not going to open the seal on this right now. That's kind of nice. Next is a peace sign. Did I already show this? No, I think that there was another one that was sort of a uh, something similar theme. This has a tag on it, which is Claire's. So here is a necklace that has, looks like, feels like maybe mother of pearl or abalone, a shell, and maybe a green adventurine or some sort of stone on there and some chains. That's kind of cute, actually. Um, and I don't really see a jewelry mark on there. That's kind of cute. Here is a necklace, a long, long necklace from New York and Company. Um, it's cute. It's got gold tone chain. And a couple of plastic beads, gold beads. It's cute though, it's in good shape. There's New York stamp on that. And here's the necklace. Not bad. Here we have an illusion necklace. I think that's what they're called. Um, usually I I don't like these because they in jewelry jars and jewelry bags because they really get tangled up a lot. Um, this is kind of the same. The, got, the wires got all bent up, but the stones are really pretty and can be used. And let's see, nappier, too bad. I don't know if that can be repaired, but it's nappier. I think I'm still gonna put that in the craft lot. That's a shame. Here's a ring and the, the metal on the ring is turning. It's supposed to be silver, it's turning now. So that'll go in the craft lot. Here's a pin with floral and snowflake design on it. It's actually fabric. And I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Here's a cute necklace. It's got a pendant with moving crystals inside. I think that's pretty cute. Let's get closer on that. And 
and a bracelet from Aeropostale that I'm going to go in the craft lot. Here's a set of cufflinks. And then there's something on the back. It says patent pending under whatever that means. Interesting design though. And let's see, I don't know what it's going to do with the magnet. It sticks. I'll put those aside. Another set of cuff links with initials DLM. Oops. DLM. It's kind of scratched up a little bit. And I do not see a name. Coming to the end. It's just two, uh, one pair of post earrings, and it looks like a real stone heart pendant in there. I'm not sure what kind of stone that would be. A silver tone ring. Let's see if there's anything inside. And I don't see any marking inside, but it's in good shape. And one last pair of earrings. So thanks for joining me for the reveal of Salvation Army jewelry bag number three. That was the final bag from the lot of three that I bought. I thought it was worthwhile, especially finding that Pandora necklace and the Crown Trafari and there are a few other really cute pieces in there. So thanks so much for joining me. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell to be notified of all my new videos as I post them. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.